And in our next segment, the longer you have your car, the more those headlights start to show their age. Coming up next on 12 Week and Today, how to clean them with household items. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. I feel like I've seen this out on the road. Are your headlights looking old? If they are, you'll want to listen up. Jim Garnard from NARPRO is here to tell us how to clean them up yourself. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. So I feel like I've seen this. They almost like they look a little bit foggy or less, I don't know, yellowy. It, it, it looks I don't know. weird. What does it yeah. look like, I guess, when your headlights are getting kind of old? I guess it would be like a car cataract. Okay. You, you got to layer stuff keeping the light from going through it. But there's some easy ways to clean it. You even brought up one that's fairly inexpensive. Let's start with that one. You said you could actually use a toothpaste. Right, any, any polishing compound, any paste, you, even Colgate, doesn't matter the brand, it's not brand preferential. If you take a, a, a cloth, get good toothpaste on there and then just scrub that, it'll all come off, it'll polish off. Now there are um, car waxes, car polishes that'll work a little bit better than the toothpaste. When you're done, you want to clean it real good because there's a protective coating on the lens to keep that from going bad right away. If you just polish it, you're going to end up doing that way too often. So polish it, get it nice and clean, and then take a wax and put a layer of stuff to protect it. People use clear spray paint over it, but the spray paint has a tendency to change color real quick too, and it'll actually peel off. Um, if you're doing it at home, just a good coat of wax on it will keep it lasting long. And what is it that you're actually taking off? I know we were talking during break and we've got a sample here. What is this stuff oh, that yeah, builds up on the outside? Actually, that's part of the plastic that you're taking off. There is a clear coat on it and stuff, but if it's really bad, you're actually cleaning the, the plastic off and leaving a clean layer. Kind of like taking off dead skin, I would suppose. <laughs> I get because I've seen these out on the road. My old car used to get like that. And can can you get pulled over and stuff for something like this? Your car lights, your, your headlights look a little bit dim, or they look like they're going out. Actually, the law in Arizona, I think it has to have a 400 foot reflective oh. range on your car, which means a little bit better than a football field. You should be able to see a reflector standing out that far. A lot of cars, you know, the the lenses are bad and they're aimed wrong. I mean, having your headlights aimed wrong makes it so you can overdrive the light yourself. If you're going fast some of the time, it's not far enough out. But then again, the people driving the other direction or people behind you some of the time have them a little too high. So adjusting your headlights is just as important as keeping them clean. And then speaking of the lights, you actually brought some light bulbs here because now you go to the store, your headlight burns out. There's 300 different types of light bulbs there. What are the differences that we're talking about? Well, the standard light is pretty bright, but it usually has a little bit of a yellow hinge to it. it, it a tint of yellow. So as you're driving down the road, look at the other cars and you'll notice a lot of the lights are actually fairly yellow. Um, that, that's an okay light, but as you get older like me, you know, people <laughs> with silver hair, we, we have a tendency to lose that night vision. So improving the light is good. There are some lights that'll give you better distance and there are lights that'll give you a brighter light. Um, there are HIDs on the market. You can buy kits to put them on there. If you get too far on the end of the spectrum, they run really hot and they'll actually melt your oh, lights. Wow. So you, you don't want to go crazy getting it bright, but it, it's a good idea to think about your situation and see if you could benefit from brighter light. I didn't even think about that, that if you have maybe like, I mean, even if your vision's not that great yeah. and you're having trouble seeing at night, then this would be a good idea. Maybe you have the wrong headlights or something you can improve to help kind of your vision out on the road as well. Absolutely. And then the people on the road have a tendency to dress in black. They're, everybody's wearing darker clothes. So it's a good idea if you're a pedestrian to have reflectors or lights or whatever, particularly this coming week when we start thinking about Halloween. And you actually have some of those here. You brought them in. This is just a simple bracelet that you can literally put on. Yeah, this is like $3 at Target. And if I can remember how to turn it on. <laughs> you can flashing mode or oh, solid. Perfect. So it doesn't really affect your costume. You don't mm -hmm. have to be, and matter of fact, but it makes put you it visible, on your goodie yeah. bag. But make it so your parents can see you as well as <laughs> the drivers. All right, well, thanks for coming. Always some helpful information here. Get those headlights figured out. It could yeah. help you out on the road. Thanks, Jim, for being here this morning.